Hispanic Heritage Month is a time to highlight the achievements and contributions of Hispanic Americans. THV 11's Julissa Garza spent time with the owner of an ice cream shop, or Neviera, and shares his story. In southwest Little Rock lies a place full of sweet, salty, and spicy treats, Tinos. Some flavors is uh, water based and some uh, flavors are uh, cream based, so, uh, but everything is homemade. Tino Guevara has been sharing his family recipes with Arkansans for seven years. Recipes that come from home. We're from Puebla, Mexico. One uh, little town next to Oaxaca and uh, Guerrero. Guevara came to the United States with a dream of owning his own business. And he hopes for it to grow beyond the natural state with help from his sons. Que hay en diferentes, uh, ciudades. His son Eduardo is very proud of his dad. He's been through a lot in his childhood and just seeing him expand this place. We started off at a restaurant, a small corner, and for him to own his own store is really good. Guevara hopes the familiar flavors remind customers of their roots. Les venga un recuerdo de, de donde nosotros salimos, pues este, son sabores que bastantes de nosotros como hispanos los conocemos. Itzo Velázquez with Conexión de Negocios Latinos says Guevara does much more than that for the Latinx community in Little Rock. But he's someone that's always been willing to help the community. Whenever, you know, whenever the census was going on, the library systems, they had tables here. Velázquez and the organization she works with helps Latinx businesses to thrive. A lot of them do have the entrepreneurial spirit. Um, they just haven't had access to the resources because of language barriers or access. She sees firsthand the number of Latinx businesses growing. This year alone, we've had a lot of workshops, and at our workshops, we have at least between 20 to 25 people come, and all of these business uh, workshops are in Spanish. Velasquez says leaders in the Latinx community like Tino are vital in helping more people turn their dreams into a reality. We need more people like him. We need more people that not only care about the business, but the community. Jalissa Garza, THV 11 News.